This is how to use my Dlib Pwn program. This will basically disable substrates. I'm assuming you have installed it correctly. Make sure the run mode is on or for the first time update and then go to the home screen and run the app. It will work in the background and while it's working you just wait. When it's done it will respring itself as such and then you can go back into the settings app because you're not going to find it anywhere else really and then into here turn off the run mode for update and turn on normal and then you'll find all the substrates listed in there I already have some on and off because I've installed it already but you do this and the ones you want on you turn on and the ones you want off you turn off make sure you only have one run mode on and then once you're done with that go back into the app and it will crash itself after it's done and then the substrate will be disabled effectively it's quite ingenious and it doesn't use any like oh what's the word it doesn't use any mobile substrates to do it turn that off and then you can also enable all by doing this and then turn that one on go into there and wait for it and then it's done and then Oh, what happened? Oh, right, I disabled them all. Never mind, it's been a while since I, what, this is just picking up and adding the audio to a video I did a while ago. But that was disabling all. And then you can have some that are always enabled. So I put folders and the ones I need for VNC. And I go back. And then disable all. That will cut them all off except for the ones that are always enabled. So you go there, open it up, wait for it, and done. Unlock it, and then the wallpaper and the folders are on. But nothing else. I don't think. It's been a while since I did this. I uh, go back into the settings, go back into there, turn the run mode off, go to experimental, different ones, these are different sets you can use, like for different times, like I have the whole set for just stuff really, and different ones, these are like the main menu one except just separate ones that you can keep customized, these count as run modes though, so make sure you have all the others off as well when you do that advanced tools purge that clears all things related to the script making it effectively clean you will need to update after that icon mode creates icons for each of the individual substrates that you have I uh, run that and once that's done you'll find on your home screen a bunch of icons the one that has the name of the substrate you want to disable you will open that up in this case it's folders and once that's done you need to respring after that. Open it up, and the folders will not work. And that's because I disabled it. And if they're in a folder when you run it, the icon color should actually change to red. I don't know why it doesn't when it's not in a folder. I don't know how to fix that, but it's pretty good either way. And then you just tap it again to re-enable it. And then you're back to normal. And the folders are working again. That was actually the original design of Dlibpwn, but I changed it to have a GUI instead. And then take it off of normal, and then remove the icons. This will delete all the icons created, and you run it, and once that's done running, you are completed. Thank you for watching. If you like this, consider donating. It pays for a pulp or waffle, which makes me like to script. Thank you.